Jordan, I suspect we're going to hear you guys say a physical a lot this week. Define what that is for you guys. Um, controlling the line of scrimmage, uh, playing hard, playing physical, being the most dominant. Um, and just because we know how Texas is, we know how they play, especially in this rivalry game, they always come out with their best. And, you know, being more physical, regardless of who you play, usually will come up on top. So that's the plan. How did that big win over TCU this weekend bring up bring momentum into a uh, big game next weekend? Yeah, well, any win brings momentum. And I think it's just a win that we needed to build up some confidence. And at the same time, we're using that to see where we need to get better at because, I mean, we're far from where we want to be. And uh, so it was just a good win, good film to go look and get better at. Do you feel like the linebacking group specifically took a step forward on Saturday? And, and what do you still need to get better at as a group? Uh, as a group, I would still say we need to get better at all aspects. I still We had you know, a lot of missed tackles, mental errors, and stuff like that. But at the same time, guys were making plays. And, you know, you make plays and making big plays like Oba was making, and some of the plays that EB and either Capri or Caleb were coming in and making. You know, it's productive and it helps, you know, hopefully the guys up front and the guys at back make their job a lot easier. Last year, that Texas game was kind of defined by your guys, you guys missing tackles. Uh, how, how, how much do you stress that this week and going into that game? Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have some more tackling drills this week. Uh, because, you know, last year's tackling wasn't too good. And obviously watching this week. So, you know, you just got to go back to fundamentals, uh, work hard, make sure in practice instead of letting a guy run through, you wrap him up and stuff like that. Little basic things that we can get better at. What are your thoughts on Tyrone Swoops and what they're doing offensively at Texas this year? Yeah, off offensively, they look very explosive. Um, you know, they got great athletes, whether it's at the quarterback position, running backs and receivers. And so, they're, you know, they're very explosive. They're doing a lot of great things. And you just got to, you know, play what the coach calls us and, and keep them keep them contained. When you see Swoops at quarterback, it almost reminds you when Blake Bell was here. How physical can he be at the point of attack as a quarterback? And what do you guys have to do to try to take that away from them? Well, I mean, he's huge. So, I mean, if you've seen him, he's, he's a big dude running the ball. But uh, it's just we got a gang, uh, gang tackle him, rally up, and – you know, minimize the game. So whenever you hit him, we just can't let him keep going. This is going to be your last OU Texas. Did you think that it would go this quick? No, not at all. I mean, this is my last season. I think it was going to go this quick. So, you know, last one, hopefully it'll be, be the best one, right? Obviously, you're fired up for this game because it's a rivalry game. But how much do you think about last year's result? And does that get you even more juice for it? Yeah, I mean, last year's result of a loss was a bitter taste in my mouth. You know, no one wants to lose any game, especially in a rivalry game. So, you know, everyone has that in the back of their minds. But at the end of the day, we know it's a new team over there, a new team here. And we're just going to work hard and just try to win the game. Jordan, Texas has played sort of desperately in this game the last few years. Uh, things going in for them haven't gone well. It's happened again this year, it looks like, with their losses to Cal and OSU. How, how do you counter that? I mean, I don't. I mean, what they do over there is, I guess, their business when it comes to playing desperate or not. Because I know we're focused over here, and we just see it as that they're always coming prepared to play. Because you know, all the four years I've been here has always been a tough game. You know, they always bring the, their best, and at the end of the day, we got control we have here and just bring our best. But do you have to uh, be aware that you, you'll have to do a lot to sort of match? If if, if a team's playing desperately, their intensity obviously intensity should rises. be. Yeah, yeah, obviously we ha we know that, and it's been uh, you know, told us told from the coaches to us and stuff like that. And we just got to raise our intensity as well. Charles Walker is a guy that plays in front of you on the D-line. How have you kind of seen him improve the last couple seasons and this season? Oh, yeah, he's improved tremendously. Um, makes a lot of plays. He makes my job easier a lot of times, too. So, you know, it's just great seeing, you know, the production that he's able to do. And, yeah, it's just, it's just fun watching as well. You guys haven't exactly played at your best against Texas the last couple of years. Is that just maybe being nervous or just um, added, added pressure building up to uh, you know, do well against Texas? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know there's a true answer to that. Guys, just, you know, if we're not playing our best, that's just on, on us at the end of the day. So what would it mean to, to end your career with a win against Texas? I mean, it would be nice, you know. I would like to end my career with all wins, <laughs> to be real with you. But, you know, so it will be nice just, just to ha have another win. Do you think when your career is over, you'll look back at this five-game stretch and you guys have played Houston, Ohio State, <coughs> Texas Tech, TCU, being maybe the toughest five-game stretch you had during your four years? Is, that, is there a chance that could happen? I mean, that's a chance that could happen. That's, I mean, you're saying five years from now, I can't really see the future, but I'm sure that, that could happen. You know, I'll look back and see, you know, the tough opponents that we played, but it's just, I'll always be looking back at games. How tough is it to prepare for the two different quarterbacks knowing they're so different and what they bring? Oh, yeah, you just got to be prepared, you know, and seeing the, the, the two guys and what they can bring 
just got to study the film, uh, make sure we get reps for both both of the quarterbacks in the game, and you know just stay prepared, stay and, and uh, stay disciplined. Do you feel like there's any advantage at all? I mean, Eric mentioned uh, Blake Bell, um, and you guys using him kind of similar to how Texas uses swoops. Do you guys feel like you have any advantage in preparing for that just because of that history with Blake? Oh, I mean, I think just the scout guys and what the looks they give us and like the film we watch, you have to be prepared. At the end of the day, I mean, we can see all that they do. When we go on the field, we have to make the play. So that's how that goes. Feel good to get that first interception as a team? Oh, yeah, it felt good. I know Steven felt good. That's his first one, too, in his career. So, I mean, we was due a turnover. It took us long enough, so it felt good. What was the big difference in the second and the third quarter defensively compared to where you guys have been the rest of the season? Um, I think, you know, we, we, we played more together. I know for a fact we were having a lot more fun. Um, guys was making those plays, those 50-50 plays that we weren't making at the beginning of the year. We started to make them, you know, having fun. Even though when we were messing up, no one was kind of harping on nobody and yelling at each other. We just kind of played as a team, and I think that might have been the main difference. What are you guys going to have to do to close out a game? You had a big lead in this TCU game. If it's the same situation versus Texas, what has to happen in order for you guys to close out the game? Yeah, we got to just, you know, uh, keep clicking, keep playing hard. I can't get content and just for sure not give up big plays because, you know, big plays, especially with explosive offenses, they can score in seconds. So, you know, just when it comes like that, we just got to stay grounded and uh, not be content with where we're at. What is this week like, and how is it different from others? I know you've kind of grown up around being from here and your dad. And well, I know um, it's OU Texas, so all across the state, people look forward to this game. Um, students are, are going crazy. High schools don't have school on Friday and stuff like that. So it's just a great atmosphere to be a part of, and you know, it's a lot of fun. Did you ever see yourself playing a game like this? For no, when I was younger. No, I didn't. No, I, I didn't at all. So. Questions for Jordan. Was there anything specifically your dad told you about the OU Texas game when you got here the first time you played at OU Texas that you can remember? Yeah, um, my freshman year, I just remember him texting me saying stuff like, I mean, you're going to have chills. It's, uh, it's one of the greatest games to be a part of and stuff like that. But what I most remember is my freshman year, I was playing on kickoff and they ran like a reverse. I got cracked back on, dude blew me up. And after the game, I get to my phone, my dad just texts me saying, welcome to OU Texas. So <laughs> that's, that's about it. Thanks, Jordan. Bye. Appreciate it.